Good afternoon. We are joined by number seven, red shirt sophomore Emily Eltrich. Hey, congratulations on the big win last night against Mount San Antonio College in the SoCal Regional Final. Uh, final score of 25-14, 25-27, 25-14, and 25-14. Hey, tell me, how confident were you guys going into the game last night? I think our win against Santa Barbara on mm -hmm. Tuesday was definitely a big confidence booster, but definitely we felt more prepared than anything. Our preparation this season has been above all else. It's the last couple of years kind of developed into uh, mm -hmm. somewhat forming of, of, a, of a rivalry against Santa Barbara City College, especially after the upset last season. And then, uh, you know, going into this round and, and, and you know, sweeping them three to zero. Uh, that's mm -hmm. definitely something that, you know, I think carried on to going into uh, Mount Sac the other night. Uh, hey, you talk about the preparation of the team. Just how good of a job are the coaching staff uh, been preparing you guys, um, not just during the playoffs, but also all year? Um, well, obviously, Bobby Joe completely demolishes our preseason. We play the best teams of the best mm -hmm. in the South. Um, and it definitely contributes to our rankings. Mm -hmm. Even though we didn't do the best in conference, we still had such an amazing season. Mm -hmm. um, and... Our coach, Dave Prophet, he just prepares us to no end. Like he's constantly scouting, constantly giving us things to work on. Our film is insanely good. Sure. We just so much preparation has been put into every single game and every single part of the season from the beginning. Uh, absolutely. And that's one of the things that I've noticed about Bobby Joe's teams and including Dave Prophet's is that, but not just, just mentally obviously, which plays a big role in this, but also physically. Um, you know, you, you never see a Mesa College volleyball program run out of gas. Um, you guys are yeah. always physically in shape, and it's one of those things that, hey, if we go down, we're not going to go down because we we got tired. I would ask you the makeup of this team, and if I would ask you to describe that in one word, what would that be? I think the word to describe our team would definitely be family. Mm -hmm. Like, at the end of the day, no matter what happens, we're there for each other. And we're here to celebrate everybody's biggest moment and support each other in everybody's deepest moment. And I think it translates on the court, especially when we're down and we, mm. you know, fight against all odds to come back up. Once again, we are joined by redshirt sophomore Emily Eltrich from Bullard High School out in Fresno, California. Um, hey, what are some of the good things that the team has been doing well lately? Um, and on that same line, um, what are some of the things that you still think that we should try to improve on going into the championship rounds? I think we've been doing a really good job of our defense. Mm -hmm. It's kind of struggled in the beginning, but part of our success in these last two playoff games has been our insane defense and the coverage off the block is just no balls going down without a fight. Sure. And I definitely think we could work on our starts better. We're kind of a slow start team. We need to get into a groove before we yeah. really dominate, but we yeah. always finish. Uh, I know I asked you this a little bit earlier, but what do you think? And I know you answered family. Is there anything else that you think that separates your team from everyone else? I think we just work harder than everybody else. Every single practice is focus and there's a lot of integrity in our game. I think we definitely have strong assets in every single part of our team, from our defense to our setting to our attacking to our even our serving. I think we just have a very well-rounded team this year. We have some breaking news that you might want to share. But uh, uh, so do we know our schedule yet for the upcoming rounds? We play American River on December 1st at 7 p.m. Got it. And uh, I believe the American River College plays out of the Big Eight Conference. And uh, looking here, they uh, finished 24 and 6 this season, mm -hmm. uh, finishing second in the conference behind San Joaquin. So, once again, uh, Emily sharing some news here. San Diego Mesa College will be battling American River College Friday, December 1st at 7 p.m. Um, hey, Emily, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. Uh, any messages you want to send to your fans uh, and also your teammates? I would just like to thank everybody for the constant and great support throughout the entire season. 
every single game has just been full of love and excitement and our fan section has always been so loud and it's just amazing to have so many people who you know are there for you and love you on your team awesome well emily thank you for your time let's go get him next week let's get some rest and uh let's go get him thank you so much have a great rest of your weekend thank you emily